welcome back to my channel long time no see i know i just i've been trying to get back on the track after my holiday in amsterdam and stuff like that but i decided i wanted to film a video for tonight because i miss uploading and sunday's video is more like a vlog style video so it's not as if i can just stop that now and upload so yeah i am going to do a 21 quick fire question video just so some of you can get to know me a bit more as well like um you know i have a lot of new people on here and i suppose i want to get to know all of you as well so if you enjoyed the video do leave me a comment below on some video recommendations and everything that you'd like me to see and give the video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy this is just a spare the moment kind of a thing but it's not often i have my house quiet because i have three younger siblings so i was like you know what i'm just gonna film a video and i'd like some of you to get to know me a bit more as well so let's get into it so let's get into the questions i literally just looked up 21 quick fire questions so i'm going to get into those now so the first question is what's your favorite thing in your closet right now um probably this dress this new dress if you haven't seen it yet if there will be a photo over on my instagram i got this in Bershka yesterday in dundrum but my new favorite thing about my closet at the minute is that i'm completely gone um I've got every, rid of everything pattern, rid of everything like really colourful, like I know this is colourful but I have, you know, solid colourful things in my wardrobe but I'm gone to very neutral tones and that's because I find if you stick to the one colour scheme everything goes together and it's easier to mix and match things now. I obviously have some pops of colour, I'm not like completely boring but yeah, that's my favourite thing about my closet wardrobe at the minute that I'm starting to kind of settle down with, you know, patterns and stuff and go with more solid colours, neutrals and everything goes together. Second question is, what's the best piece of advice you've ever received? And this would be to do what you want to do with your life. I'm fed up saying this now, but yeah, do what you want to do with your life because look at me now, like I am, what is it, four months into my YouTube journey and it's just getting better and better and better and also just don't care what other people think like it's your life at the end of the day you're the one that's going to make your life and you might as well do it the way you want to do it so yeah third question is do you have any pets i'm not sure if i've shown harley on my youtube but yeah i have one little dog harley he is one now he is a golden cocker spaniel and he is my life he's gorgeous he's so cute like i literally just brought him home from being groomed out today and he's just the cutest thing ever so yeah i have one little puppy called harley fourth question is what's your favorite movie ever now this is tough i would say either do you know madeline the one with the french girls boarding school madeline or matilda there they would be two of my favorite and obviously they're childhood films but yeah they would be two of my favorite films when i was younger i remember my granddad actually bought me a madeline hat one time so i could be just like madeline so yeah fifth question describe yourself as a teenager in five words this is tough jealous because obviously i was 12 when my mum and dad had my next sibling and then there was like two years between the three of them. So jealous would be one. Um, a worrier. Worrier would be two. Because I used to worry about everything. Everything. But I think I get that from my mom. And number three is just spontaneous, I suppose. No worrier and spontaneous are kind of going against each other. But I was very spontaneous. I would have done anything when I was a teenager. <laughs> so yeah, those three words. Six. What is in your handbag right now? I'm not too sure. I'll go get it and we'll have a look, I suppose. So I have my handbag here, my lovely River Island handbag that my mom got me for Christmas. So what I have in here is a litre bottle of water. Always stay hydrated. I have my fake Louis Vuitton purse that my nanny bought me on holidays. I have some leaflets from Rejuvenate in the Riverside. I'm thinking of getting microdermabrasion for my birthday, treat myself to a facial. So yeah, I have some leaflets on that. I have my credit union book, all about the saving life. What else do I have in here? I have a little bottle of perfume that one of the girls got me for Chris Kimble. Just a little mini mouse thing, just to freshen up very so often. And I have a Spiradelix bobble. These are the best bobbins ever. Woo, Spiradelix. Never use any other bobbin, only these. I have 
Carmex, I have PS lip balm, Penny's lip balm. I have Tyra Zets as well because I always get sore throat. And that's it. No lipstick or anything because I actually only emptied. Oh, and I have a full pocket of clips. Yeah. So that's what's in my bag. <laughs> Seven. What's your biggest pet peeve? Obviously, I've said this in my very first video black and navy. Do not wear black and navy around me because it will just give me anxiety. Well, I suppose you do you, but I cannot stand black and navy. Uh, eight is dark chocolate or milk chocolate. Milk chocolate all the way. Give me a dairy milk bar any day and I will be delighted with life. My favourite is actually packing the meanies and put the dairy milk inside, but we have to forget about that at the minute because I am trying to be good. <laughs> Nine, if you could be from any other decade or era, which would it be? I think the 80s because of the music. 80s and 90s. The music back then was just unreal. I still listen to it now, like, brilliant. So yeah, probably the 80s. Number 10, if you weren't in the industry you're in now, what would you be doing? So obviously I'm in the hairdressing industry. Um, if I wasn't doing hairdressing, I would see myself, I my other choice that I got, well, I did get into the course, but I just chose hairdressing, uh, business studies. And I would have loved to do business and digital marketing and media. We might be going back in that direction in a while, but we won't say any more about that. Um, 11, what's on your cell phone playlist right now? My, my Spotify playlist, maybe. Uh, Halsey's new song, You Should Be Sad, You Should Be sad. Yeah, that. Um, Roses, the remix, Unreal. Listen to it all the time. Watermelon Sugar. Um... My phone is recording, so I can't really look. What else is on my Spotify playlist? Uh, free, Robbie G, free. Um, and there's one other one that I'd love to say, but I can't remember the name. But yeah, I'll leave my Spotify playlist down below, my new ones. It's called New Ones, but it's just all the music that I listened to recently. Like I'll put it in the description box below for you all to have a look at. Number 12, if you could have any three people over for dinner, dead or alive, who would they be? Oh Jesus, this is tough. Um, dead or alive. First mom would be my granddad, definitely. I would love to have dinner with my granddad. Definitely my granddad. Um, number two would be my nanny because I couldn't have my granddad there without my nanny. She misses him terribly. So I would have my nanny and my granddad. And then the last person I would pick would be Ellie Darby. Definitely. Ellie Darby. I would have Ellie Darby there any day. I would have Ellie Darby at my house any day for dinner. Any day at all. It doesn't matter what day it is. She will be here. If she knocked on my door, I would tell her to come in. I love her so much. 13. If your house is on fire, what would be two things you'd run back in and get? Uh, I would run back in and get my dog, Harley, obviously. And my puppy and my blankie. So this, there's a lot, there's a story behind this. So when I was younger, my granddad bought me a puppy and... I used to have a knitted blanket and there's a big hole in it now but those two have gone everywhere with me and they were comforting when I was younger and they just mean so much to me so I'd run back in and get those definitely those two and Harley. Number 14 name a book you've read that shaped you positively this would be how to be a badass or be a badass yellow cover Jen Sinclair's or something like that right uh, right wrote it just go and read it. Like if you're wanting to change your life, if you're wanting to do what you want to do, but don't like don't want to worry of doing it, go and read that book. It's unbelievable. And also the secret. If you get into manifestation and stuff like that, I'd really recommend. Number 15, who would play you in a movie of your life? Jesus. Um I don't know, I'm not really into movies. Maybe Julia you run off love actually? I don't even know her name. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Can't answer that. Number 16 is Android or Apple. Apple all the way. I hate Android phones. I'm sorry. They just um some people are all Android, some people are all Apple, so I'm just an Apple girl. And I always have been, always will be. I love Apple phones. 
and yeah that's just the way i am and i will get a macbook soon too really would love a macbook number 17 if you had a spirit animal what would what would it be and um, my spirit animal is actually butterflies and birds i hate pigeons like i hate them but yeah seemingly my spirit animals are butterflies and birds so if i ever see a butterfly i always bless myself and be grateful it's just you'd probably think i'm weird but like it's spirituality is becoming a big thing in my life and law of attraction and all like that so if you ever get into that you'll know what i'm talking about number 18 what's your favorite tv show at the minute love island if are you watching love island that's because it's getting saucy at the minute with Callum. I just can't be dealing with him. He would be dead if I got my hands on him. So, yeah, Love Island. But other than that, Gossip Girl, I've watched that so many times. Also, Vampire Diaries. Um, and Pretty Little Liars. Just there are a few. Number 19 is any tattoos? No, I don't have any tattoos. Now, I was always going to get a tattoo for my granddad on the side of my foot never got it and then when we were in Amsterdam I was thinking of getting an F for my granddad on the side of my finger but then no one got them and I was like kind of like thank god I don't know I'd rather <clears throat> I think I'd regret it in the future I'm just my family aren't really a tattoo-y kind of a family either like my mom and my auntie and my uncle don't have any my granddad didn't have any my nanny no we're just not tattoo-y kind of people so yeah number 20 is the best gift you've ever received best gift I've ever received and um, I actually got it is yesterday I uh, me and Dylan came back from shopping and there was a, like a envelope on his bed and it, he was I was like well, he was ever telling me he's ever getting me surprised for Valentine's Day and I was like why is it why is it what is it let me open it let me open it let me open it let me open it he's like it's not for you and I was like let me open it I know it's for me blah blah, blah. so I kept at him and at him and at him so he let me open it and it's for Valentine's Day but like that's in two weeks and it's just, it was so sentimental to me because he, he would have never done something like that before. But it's like a little book with pictures in it. I'm not going to embarrass him. It's a little book that you get printed online with pictures in it. And it just, it actually brought a tear to my eye. It was so cute. Like, but I gave it back to him. I was like, now you keep it for Valentine's Day. And the other thing he got me, like, I know what it is as well. Like, took it out of packet and everything. And I was like, just keep it for Valentine's Day. And I'm not allowed to touch him again till Valentine's Day. But yeah. I'm not very nice am I? I need to go get him something now really good because yeah that was a really nice gift. 21 is if you had one superpower what would it be? I always thought read people's minds but then you would just like imagine constantly walking around and how much that would be in your head like if you look at someone you could see what they're thinking. I personally I just couldn't deal with that. Um, Being invisible that'd be cool because it then you literally if you're invisible you can find out stuff that you want to find out but you don't have to know everything that's going on in people's heads do you know that kind of way so yeah probably to be invisible so that's the end of this video um just a spur of the moment kind of a little thing i hope all of you have got to know me a little bit more now as well um it's nice i miss filming like the last few videos that i've done have been vlogs and stuff i miss sitting down and filming an actual video do you know that kind of way um so yeah I hope you've all enjoyed and um, if you're all new if you're new here please do subscribe down below please subscribe because it means so much to me and my birthday is on the 21st of this month and i have a goal to hit 250 by my birthday so maybe it might happen but yeah um do subscribe down below if you're not subscribed already and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and um, also leave me some recommendations in the comments box below and maybe we'll leave a question let me know what your biggest pet peeve is in the description box below and we can get chatting but yeah i'm glad that i'm sitting down and video filming again i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all again soon bye